So today I'd like to talk about trends in silverware. It's been a little while since I've done a video. It's been very, very busy and so, and that's a good thing. Okay, so one of the trends that is very hot is colors in silver. So um, Grand Baroque does a gold accent and that seems to go very well today. Um, also, all gold. So, um, so pieces that are all gilded sterling um, seem to be selling very well. Um, one month um, last summer, we actually sold over a thousand pieces of gilded silver. Um, and I talked to a person who does modernism and she said, that's the hottest trend right now. But I think there might be something even hotter and that is black silverware. So this pattern is Caravelle by George Jensen. And um, we did a modernism show um, in Palm Springs last year and people went crazy over it. We sold everything we had and more. We had to wait for Jensen to get back in stock. Um, one interesting thing is that um, doing a little research on this, I found that on eBay, um, there were 12,500 listings for black silverware. And then, so there's many other makers making it. Uh, the black Caravelle is the only one George Jensen does. Okay, uh, it's probably the highest quality of the black silverware. Um, another thing is on a Google search, looking at silverware, uh, black silverware is number 10 in all um, queries. Um, and um, I think that's amazing because there's so many things you can ask, you know, Tiffany, Jensen, Bujolati, Gorm, you name it. Um, but number 10 out of all that. So, okay. So um, other trends are that things are selling like crazy, all types of things. Uh, but what things are selling the best? I think mid-century modernism is really hot as it has been for a while. So uh, this great looking gravy label um, is the pattern diamond and it was designed by Gio Ponte in the 1950s. Um, this pattern is really hot. We can't keep it in stock. In fact, just uh, last week, someone from Italy called and said, um, I, I need more Gio Ponte stuff. And he bought a big set of this. Um, and then um, modern looks are also very popular. Uh, this one came in yesterday. It's called Trinica by Cor. And it gives you some idea of how great the shapes can be of silver. So never saw some of these before. Look at the size and the, how unusual this salad set is. Okay, a butter spreader. I mean, that is cool, man. Okay, just a plain old sugar spoon, neat. There's a mustard ladle. The knives have a really great shape. I really like them. And then this piece is in there. And we cannot figure out what this thing is. I'm saying an oyster server and I'm staying with it, but uh, if anyone's got a real idea of what it is, let me know. Okay, so that mid-century stuff is really doing great. Um, another thing that's going well is good names. So uh, Tiffany is doing very well. Jensen is doing very well. This is a um, this is like a pierced uh, pea spoon with all flowers in the bowl. Uh, this is Christoffel, it's called Talisman Black. And any enameled um, talisman by Christoffel seems to sell immediately, but all Christoffel, sterling, silver plate, stainless, it's all doing wonderful. Okay, uh, this is Bouchelotti, so it's called Grand Imperiali. It was made for the Pope originally, um, and then made for the common man. And, um, you know, seems like every piece of this that comes in sells quick. Um, this is Puifacat. So Puifacat, this is one of my favorite patterns. It's called Elise. Okay, other trends. Um, things that are plain, plain silver, sterling, seems to be doing great. So one of them that we can't keep in stock, Old English Tipped. Um, here's uh, one that's really hot, um, Continental by International. 
Um, it's from the 1930s. Um, just can't keep it in stock. Uh, so a funny side note is that um, people from Germany and Austria seem to buy, love this pattern and buy lots of it. Um, Hampton by Tiffany is always popular. Um, King William is good. I'd say that any pattern that's rounded and heavy is a, a winner these days. Here's Craftsman. Again, here's Tiffany Fanuel uh, does well. And then Flemish is still pretty good. Okay. Um, then, um, you know, there are the favorites. Um, probably the, the biggest selling patterns that we have as far as number of pieces are Francis the First, um, Grand Baroque, and right now, Old Master. Um, so those patterns, um, again, very hard to keep in, in stock. Um, we're having trouble keeping everything in stock these days, and it's a really nice problem to have. Thank you very much.